Hey guys, it's your girl Sally here, back with another video. And today I'm gonna teach you guys how to get a bomb contour and highlight for less than five bucks. Before we begin today's video, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below, let your girl know what you want to see next, like this video, and share it with your people. Easy steps, all those buttons are down below, so if you don't know what to do, just start clicking somewhere and something will work. We are on the road to 100 subscribers, y'all, 100 subscribers. And when we do that, again, like I said last video, I'm really thinking about doing a little giveaway for you guys. If you would like to win that giveaway, then make sure you are sharing with your people to uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm super excited. If this is your first time watching, I post makeup videos every Monday night. So make sure that you guys are tuning in, hit the notification bell button so you can get notified when I go live. Before we get into contour and highlighting, I am going to go ahead and do my foundation off camera. This isn't going to be a long video. I really wanted to make something that was practical, something that you guys can get tips from and actually learn from. So I'm going to go ahead and lay my base, uh, my foundation and all of that stuff off camera and then we'll come back with contour and highlight. Okay, so I went ahead and did my foundation and my eyebrows off camera, uh, like I said before, because I really just want to focus in on the concealer. The concealer that we're gonna use today, which is the star of the show, is the LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer. I did my research for you guys for these concealers. I got these at HEB for 411. And then I also did some further research because I know I have some subscribers on here that aren't from Texas. So if you don't have a local HEB, um, they sell these at Ulta and Target for $4.99, so again, about 5 bucks. So, I'm going to teach you guys how to get a really good looking highlight and contour with these two babies, and it's going to be less than $5. Before we get started, I have an honorable mention, okay? And this is a really good mention. It is 6 bucks, so it's a dollar over. We're not going to be using it today, but I did want to mention it because I really do like it. It is the Maybelline New York Fit Me Concealer. This is also a very good concealer um, to highlight and contour. It's very creamy. I personally love doing this concealer for my eyebrows. This is the one that I love, uh, but I also do, I'd be lying if I say I haven't used it for highlight and contour, just because it is so creamy, it blends well. So we're not gonna be using these today. Um, I actually don't have a contour shade because that's not really what I use this for, uh, but I did wanna mention it and just give you guys another option because this is also a very good concealer to use as well. I use this shade 11 in vanilla. But like I said, we're gonna go in with the Pro Conceal Concealers. I actually love these. These are very creamy as well, uh, and they do get the job done, and they blend nicely. So I'm using shade Cool Nude for my highlight shade and Chestnut for my contour shade. So the deal with highlighting contour is when it comes to a highlight shade, they say you wanna get a shade about two to three shades lighter than your normal skin tone, which today, honestly, this one is super light because like I've said in previous videos, your girl has been in the pool almost every day and tanning almost every day. So this probably is gonna be a little on the lighter side today, but we're gonna make it work. When it comes to a contour shade, you wanna get a shade that is two to three shades darker than your normal skin tone. If you don't know what contour and highlight is, that's perfectly fine. It's a technique that's gonna help highlight and contour your natural features on your face already. So we're gonna get more into it as we continue, but I kinda just wanted to break that down. If you didn't know what contour and highlight was, yada yada. Let's get started, that's enough help. These are a squeeze tube concealers. They're about the size of my hand, pretty good size. These last me, especially now y'all since we're on quarantine, I probably, the last time I bought one of these was probably like in January. And like I'm not even using a lot because I'm not really going anywhere. So uh, with this shade, I'm going to, I try to bring you guys in a little bit closer today for today's video. So I hope, I hope that helps. Let me bring you in close to Highlighting and contouring is gonna be different for every face. So if you have a face similar to mine, a more rounded face, then this tutorial is gonna help you. 
Uh, if you don't, you can still learn some things from this tutorial, but just uh, kind of watch what I do, my inner eye corner. I'm gonna start there and I'm gonna drag it till about right here, the top of my cheek, and then blend out after. So I'm kind of gonna line it all up. Drag it that way. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Really again, start at the inner corner and then kind of stop at my, the upper part of my cheek. I'm sorry y'all, like this is, this tutorial is like very specific and I'm kind of having a hard time like explaining everything. So I'm sorry, but we'll both learn together. And I'm not doing like a ton of concealer. Like I'm not pumping out a ton. I'm really only squeezing about like one good time and then everything else on the brush, I'm kind of just like blending out. This brush helps me blend out the product while I put it on my face. So thankful for that. So I'm not gonna bring it all the way to my temples because when we start contouring, you'll see why. So then I do a little plant here. Just do like an arrow, a little flower. Give yourself a little flower there. And then I'm gonna bring this down the middle. Then I'm gonna highlight my Cupid's bow. And then I'm even gonna get a little bit on my chin just because I do wanna, you know, highlight this area just a little bit. Not the whole thing, just the center. So then I'm gonna grab my Real Technique sponge. This is also an inexpensive kind of sponge. Um, I actually do go back and forth between this one and the Black Beauty Blender. I really do like the outcome of both of them, so I'm not really picky. I kind of just, whatever I grab that day is what I go with. But for today, I wanted to use the Real Technique sponge specifically because it is uh, on the lower inside and it's just the theme of today's video. So I'm going to grab the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray and I'm just gonna spray my sponge with this. You don't have to use the Morphe brand. I mean, I've used other kind of brands. I really do like the CoverGirl one, that's a low, um, a low price one, the NYX setting spray. I personally didn't feel like it did anything. That's a low price one. So whatever you feel, girl, I mean, just go ahead, grab your setting spray and whatever works best for you. I'm actually very picky how I blend my highlight. Um, when it comes to the eye portion, I don't just like start in the middle and then just start blending everywhere. I actually like blending out the edges like that are closer to my face and kind of blending that into the foundation already. So as you can see, I actually do still have some untouched concealer up here. Uh, and I kind of save that towards the end, like I said, because I don't want like a whole you know, a whole patch of, of highlight under my eye. That's not really what I'm going for. So I actually do like blending those edges out into my foundation already, just so it looks a little more natural. And again, I like just going in and spraying my sponge a little bit with the setting spray, just so it can kind of help me blend things a little bit better. After I blended everything out, I'm gonna go back into those under eyes and really keep that product close to the under eye because that's why we placed it there in the first place because we want to get a smooth under eye look. So I'm gonna blend it out, but keep that product right there where it is and instead of blending it out everywhere. I kinda already did that, 
like I said, with the edges of the concealer after I place it down, I kind of already blend it into my foundation. Where it is right now, it's kind of where I wanted to stay because I really do like a highlighted under eye look. So as I'm blending, I'm really just keeping that product there. I'm not gonna blend it out too further than what I did before. After I'm done blending out my concealer, you're gonna look a little white and a little pale, but that is perfectly fine because uh, we're not done yet. So what you wanna do is grab your contour shade. I'm the type of person who doesn't like like a super sharp contour just because that doesn't look flattering on my face. If anything, I just look like I have bad makeup on. So I necessarily don't go for the sharp contour look and I go a little more for like the bronzy kind of look so I still am going to contour in a sense but I'm just not gonna have it so sharp and like freaking you know walk around with the brown line on my face it's not really the the goal here so this is how I always kind of learn to place out oh look at my hair I'm kind of moving my hair it's weird anyways this is where I learned to place my contour right there on your cheekbone I also learned from Jacqueline Hill like a super long time ago when she was first on YouTube to not place your contour right on that line to go a little higher because when you're naturally blending the product is going to go a little lower just because when you're you may put it there but when you blend it out it kind of you know spreads out in a sense so I learned to put my contour a little bit higher so when I blend it doesn't drop down here but it in a sense drops exactly where I need it to go. You can kind of see it when you suck in your lips. So I see that my contour is about right here, right where I made that line. So instead of drawing a line here, I'm actually gonna place the contour on top of it. Right, right there. And I don't do the whole drag to my lip thing. I actually, just like I did last time, just kind of start blending it out and I'm actually gonna follow that with my natural face so you see like my natural hairline right here I'm gonna kind of like put it right there because that's the edge of my face and I'm gonna drag that contour all the way up so for me this is where I like placing it so instead of contouring my whole face and then blending it out, I actually like doing one part, one section at a time, uh, just because the longer you leave that contour, the harder it is to blend it. So instead of moving on and doing my whole face like I did with the highlight, I'm actually just gonna stay right here and blend this out. So again, we're gonna wanna use our setting spray, whatever you have. And oh, also this, forgot to mention this. So I blended out the highlight with this side, right? You can see the sponge is shaped a little differently. So I blended my highlight out with this side. I'm not gonna go in and blend my contour with the same side. I feel like this is a basic mistake that a lot of people make, um, but I do use this side when blending my contour. You're gonna see that here in a little bit. But for right now, I'm going to flip the sponge and use this side, this side is clean. You see this side right here has my highlighting concealer on there. I, mean, I don't know if you guys can see, uh, but I'm gonna flip it and use the clean side and blend it out. So again, I'm gonna kind of, wherever I place the contour is really where I want to keep it. So I'm just gonna blend it out. And even though I don't drag the contour to my lip, I still blend out to my lip. If you feel like it's a little harsh, this is when I would flip the sponge back to the same place where I highlighted everything with. No extra product on there, okay? Because there is product still on here. So what I would do is kind of go and clean up those spaces where I feel like maybe too harsh, I would go in with that side again, no extra product, I didn't put extra concealer or anything, and I would just blend it out. That's a major key in contour and highlighting is blending. You wanna make sure that everything is blended beautifully 
and smoothly. So again, just kind of tap in. Then I'm gonna go in with the other side. Once you've blended everything out on the other side, you can move to the nose. With the same brush application, I'm gonna start from the bridge of my nose and just take that down, just like that. I follow my eyebrow, so you see how my eyebrow cells are here? I'm literally just gonna continue that line and bring it down my nose. And so I'm not gonna actually bring that all the way down because when I blend it, I want it to be a soft look. Again, I'm not really big on like the harsh cut nose jobs and face contours. I'm not really big on that. So I am just gonna bring it about halfway and then stop because I'm gonna blend that out and all the product on there is just gonna be blended down and it'll look again a little more soft, a little more natural. Then I'm gonna bring this under my nose. I know in some previous videos that you've seen on YouTube, you've actually seen me contour my lips. And I actually did get a few questions in DM about that, about how to contour your lips. Um, just real quick and easy. I just follow the, the lip, almost like you're putting on lip liner, but you're overdrawing like super mad hard. So I'm just gonna put this under, under my lip because with contour, again, we want to give the illusion that something is smaller or bigger, but I mean, I don't think anyone wants to look like they have a bigger nose. I mean, I guess bigger lips, that's, that's a plus. And then for the top lip, I only do the corners and then a little in the middle. And then, yeah. And then we blend it out. Ah, I look like I'm about to get freaking plastic surgery. Okay, so what you wanna do is, I like this brush because it's very dense. So what I'm gonna do is grab that product and just start blending down. But remember, blend it exactly where you want the product to go. I'm gonna bring this into my crease of my eye. Just follow that along. Bring that in. And then the rest blend down. I'm not gonna touch this contour or this lip contour just yet. I really just wanna blend out the product that is on the bridge of my nose and focus on that. So you see the nose looks a little more pinched.
so it looks kind of crazy but again you're it's not gonna look good pretty much into the final look so i'm gonna grab that sponge and again no extra concealers on here with the product that is left on the sponge in the highlighting area not the contour the highlighting area i'm gonna go ahead and blend the bridge of my nose And I really just want to soften that look. Boom. And if you got, if it got a little more blended than what you would like, just go back in with that brush. Again, I didn't put extra product on here. Y'all, there is product left on your um, brushes that you use. So don't feel like you have to go in and grab more product. That's where a lot of people also mess up on contour and highlighting. They're grabbing way more product than they need and things are looking muddy, things are looking unproportional and it's just a mess. So you only literally need just a little bit of this, not a lot. Then I'm gonna go and blend out the lips. I'm liking how everything is looking blended. Um, I'm gonna give you some options for um, what I use to bake my highlight and then also what I use to contour. The first one is the Airspun Powder. I use translucent extra coverage. They have a couple of shades. I mean, majority of these are translucent, but they do have some tint to them depending on, you know, banana powder, whatever. Uh, but I like using the translucent one in full coverage. And this is a good one. This is five bucks as well. Again, all this is under $10. So this is a good option. Um, holy grail. I mean, love it. The next one is actually $8, so it's a couple a couple dollars more, but this is the Revolution Banana Light Powder. I've heard a lot of reviews on this, and I was actually kind of spectacle on getting it myself, but I really do like it. And actually, I like using this powder with the Maybelline um, concealer. I actually don't like using this powder on some kind of concealers just because a banana powder can be kind of tricky and it could react and look different on different kind of concealers, which is normal, y'all. I mean, you know, it's makeup. Not everything is gonna mix well together. But this on top of the Fit Me concealer actually is a really, really good option that I like doing. So, you know, if you have either of these, maybe try them together. Maybe it's not gonna work for you. But again, this is just something that I like doing that I would recommend to you guys. I did use the Pro Conceal Concealer. I am gonna go ahead and use the Trusty Airspun with it because these two together is very good. Again, this is makeup under uh, $10 right here. So I'm gonna go in with my Trusty Airspun. With this powder, I'm gonna go in with my Real Technique sponge. I'm not really gonna bake with this powder just because I feel like I really don't have to today. I'm just gonna place this powder on top of the highlight that we laid down earlier. If you go over some of the contour you laid, that's perfectly fine, it's not a big deal. We're gonna be doing that here in a little bit too. Then the powder that I'm gonna use to set my uh, contour is the butter bronzer in this shade sunkiss bronzer I'm gonna take this brush and I don't know if you guys can see but this brush is more like a angled brush like it has a flat side I don't know if you guys can see that but it has like a flat side and I'm gonna tell you why I love this brush I actually use two I use this one I don't even know what brand it is to tell you I think it came off it might be elf don't know don't quote me on it uh, but this one for sure is out. This is the Flawless Face Brush. As you can see, it's my bronzer shade. Um, love, love, love this brush, but I'm gonna tell you why I actually use them together. So with this brush, I'm gonna tap on the product, just like this with the flat side first, dust off. And what I'm gonna do is I'm kinda gonna place it exactly where I want it. Again, kinda tapping it blending it out while I do that. And then this brush is a little enough, I don't know if you guys could see that, where it fits perfectly right along my forehead. So I love this brush 
to do just that. Again, place it here, kind of where I want it to go. And I'm not like, rut, like blending super hard. I'm literally barely applying pressure, just tapping, not even brushing, just tapping it. And then bringing it perfectly. Just dusting, I wouldn't even, yeah, that'd be the word I'd use. I'm kind of just dusting this on. Then with the bigger brush, that product that was laid, I'm kind of just gonna blend out. Again, even though it looks like I'm doing it super hard, I'm not, I'm literally just dusting this product on. And I, again, I'm not super like, I want a straight like contour line, cut, cut face. Like that's not, that's not the goal that I'm going for. I like a more bronzy still. I mean, I would call it con. This is contour for me, girl. I mean, ladies, like whatever, whatever y'all makes y'all feel comfortable, whatever techniques work for y'all. I mean, just do it. You know what I mean? You don't have to look like Kim Kardashian every day. Okay. Come on now. So, like doing that with those brushes. Then I'm gonna go in with the brush that I used earlier for my nose, and same same steps. Everything that I did to blend it out with the cream concealer, I'm gonna do that same technique with the powder. So I'm gonna start right here at the top of um, at the top of my nose. And I'm gonna blend it into the crease of my eye. And I noticed that when you when you do this, it really gives that pinch looking effect from the top of your eyes all the way down. And me, I kind of have like hooded eyes, so this this technique really helps like elongate i feel like my nose and just my eyes in general make y'all makeup really can change the way your face looks for real so then i'm gonna grab a little bit of that product that powder and just blend it down again i'm not you know going in and doing that no that, that's too crazy y'all less is more so i'm gonna again bring it down and just drag it whatever i have left on my brush just drag it down Right down to where we were by the nose, up into the eyes. Then we're gonna do the same thing with the lips. Then if you have some blush anywhere, go ahead and add some blush. I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio in this shade Peachy Love. And I'm just gonna dust this blush on my cheeks. I don't know about y'all, but recently I have just been in love with the highlight on like the cheek area. Not the whole thing, okay? Like, again, when it comes to my face, I can't do like them IG models and like have highlighter, you know, from here all the way up to my ear. Like that just doesn't look cute on me. But I've so been into like the little touch of highlight on the cheeks. I don't know, I just love it. You should try it it's definitely in the summer. Then once you're all done with that, you can go ahead and set everything with your setting spray. I would definitely recommend this just because we kind of layered uh, a few things on our face already with the cream highlight contour then with the powder highlight contour blush highlighter i would recommend going in and really set in your face just so you can blend all the powders and the creams and they can mix beautifully together i'm gonna go off camera real quick and quickly apply some mascara and some lipstick and then we'll be right back all right, guys, that is it for today's video. Uh, I hope you learned something. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're a beginner at makeup, if you've been doing makeup, but you just didn't know how to contour and highlight, I really do hope that this video helped you in some way. I just wanted to come on here and teach you guys that it is so easy to contour and highlight. It's not as hard as people think. It's not as hard as you, know, you may think. It is super easy and you don't even need super expensive products. 
all the products that I mentioned in this video were $5 or less. So it is super easy. You guys can go to your local HEB, to your local Ulta, to your local Target and purchase any of these products that I mentioned today. So I challenge you guys, if you have been maybe scared to contour and highlight, grab these products. I guarantee you just with a little work, a little practice, you'll be able to handle it. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Again, we are on the way to 100 subscribers, y'all. I'm so excited. We're on the way to 100. So make sure you subscribe to today's video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you share it with somebody you love. And leave a comment down below for your girls so I can, you know, continue to make more videos. If you have a video idea that you would like to see from me, go ahead and drop it in the comments down below. Let your girl know, and I can take care of that for you. So again, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. It definitely was hard to explain contouring and highlighting like you don't think I never thought how difficult it would be to like sit down and describe with my words how to do makeup but trust me y'all it's a little challenging so thank you for hanging in there with me but um again I hope you enjoyed today's video I hope it was helpful for you uh like I said leave some comments down below and let's continue to grow be patient to people be kind to people love other people and we'll see you in the next video peace